Okay, let's talk about setting up the Gen 3 sensor. So I'm just gonna turn the sensor on, pushing the power button, takes a second to turn on. Once it lights up, it'll say take address. What you wanna do is you wanna use either the calibration tool on the ground, or you wanna use the tape measure that's provided. If I fix this on with the screen pointing up towards the grip, I'm just gonna tighten it lightly on the shaft. Right now I'm not setting it at a certain height, but I'm just setting the screw on the back of the putter. From there, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and place the putter head on the bottom of the calibration tool. And as I'm looking down at it, just have the bottom unscrewed lightly so I can move the unit up and down the shaft. On the calibration tool, I have it marked at 45 centimeters. I also did that on the tape measure marked it at 45 centimeters just because that's the default in the system. So once I see the bottom of the unit at the 45, from there I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bottom just a little bit, but it's still able to move on the twisting axis. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Capto Cube. I'm gonna turn it on to make sure the blue light is blinking. Once that blue light's blinking, I'm gonna place the flat edge onto the putter face. I'm gonna use the rubber band provided. I'm gonna attach that around the face and the cube. So this could be any rubber band that you wanna use. Just double check and make sure that blue light's blinking. It is blinking. And as I'm looking at it, I'm gonna make sure the cube has the top flush to the top of the putter head. And I'm also gonna check the edge it's gonna be flat to the loft on there. It's connecting. I'll say ready. If I place it down in the play position, the unit's gonna say ready. The screen's gonna light up green to the iPad. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and push play. It's just gonna give me a quick setup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select myself. Um, I'm gonna use my 36 inch slant neck putter. And you can see here, sensor position, 45 centimeters or 17.7 .7 inches. So I just have that pre-marked on my calibration tool or on the tape measure. Now, if I have a shorter putter and I wanna adjust that, I can go ahead and just adjust it in that program right there. And then with the alignment, you can use now the cube. So now that it's connected to the face, the device is turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and just push the cube. It's gonna tell us just to make sure that we got the loft flush with the edge of the cube, and also we got the top part of it down onto the top edge of your putter. You can check, just kind of make sure there's no daylight on there. Once you got that looking good, go ahead and push start. Once you get into the start operation, it's gonna ask you to hold the putter upwards. Once you're holding it upwards, it's gonna go ahead and count down. And if it's in the right position, it's gonna count down right away, but what we can see in the program, it says to rotate the unit, the Capto device, counterclockwise. I'm just going slow. If I go too much, it says go back clockwise. Once I get it into the right position, tweak that just a little bit, it's gonna start counting down. So now it's calibrated with the unit to the face of your putter. Once I got it into that spot, I'll go ahead and tighten it just a little bit more. I don't want to crank it all the way down, but make sure that's snug on there. Now it says alignment's done. I can go ahead and push OK, and then I can go ahead and push confirm. And then now I'm into the program, ready to start rolling some putts.